now you are watching KC News with Anna Prophet today in their list. Mastercard in Santander – Global Financials to Use Blockchain TV Mining and Security Strengthen – Crypto Comes into the Life Edina Coin, BitBay and BitCounter – Free Christmas Charity Details of these and other news in seconds. No prohibit for individuals or companies from using cryptocurrencies. The Russian Federal Tax Service has published a letter on measures to control cryptocurrency circulation and exchange. Kain Idol Discom reports the Federal Tax Service of Russia considers that operations with the purchase or sale of cryptocurrency should be treated as transactions with foreign currencies. Mastercard, an American multinational financial services corporation, is actively working with blockchain technology. U.S. Bureau of the Registration of Patents and Trademarks published full patent applications by Mastercard associated with the use of blockchain technology. The applications focus on methods and systems for authorizing, processing and securing blockchain-based transactions, with Mastercard arguing that a combination of blockchain and its existing payment technology could be a boon for those making digital payments. Coinidle.com reports it still doesn't clarify if or how soon Mastercard plans to use blockchain technology in its payments processing. Santander Ventures, the fintech venture capital fund of Santander Group, announced its latest portfolio investment in TradeShift, a leading business commerce and supply chain finance platform based in San Francisco. According to the Let'sTalk Payments.com, TradeShift, used by such companies as DHL, Zurich Insurance Group and National Health Service, boosted a 250 percent growth rate in 2015 for its prosecure to pay capabilities, faster payment services and predictable cash flow solutions. The Santander Innoventures investment will be used to further broaden TradeShift's capabilities, fuel the development of its platform and grow the ecosystem surrounding its B2B marketplace. From financial institutions to implementing crypto in life immediately after the ads. Uber made a revolution in taxi business by allowing anyone to become a taxi driver. Drivers cash in their spare time for extra money and customers get a cheaper ride. Similarly, Upwork has created freelance industry by connecting professionals and their clients outside of traditional agencies. Chronobank will do the same with real-world professions that currently use recruitment, outsourcing or labor hire companies. E-commerce, warehousing, industrial, building, cleaning and more. Anyone will be able to sell labor time in their given profession, making it easy and low cost to recruit talent and pay for their services without any middleman. The first stage of our project is to create multi-blockchain labor hours, sustainable, stable coins that are protected from inflation. In contrast to national currencies, labor hours will be backed by real labor time provided by major recruitment companies around the world. The second stage is to create Labor X, a decentralized marketplace where people in the real world professions will be able to sell their labor time to anyone without middlemen just as easily as Uber drivers or Upwork freelancers do. Get on board at the beginning of the revolution in recruitment with Chronobank. Electrum, the Bitcoin wallet, has announced the launch of this client to the Linux distribution Fedora. Econa Times.com reports the new Bitcoin wallet will enable users to send and receive Bitcoins. The fast, secure and easy-to-use Electrum can be installed on Fedora 25. After installing, users must start the implication that will be followed by a startup wizard. Electrum's key features include safety, where the private keys of the users are securely encrypted, that never leaves the computer. The Electrum installing on Fedora you can find on fedoramagazine.org. In a search of problem-solving, Coinbase, Ether Exchange startup together with Bitcoin, is seeking a patent for a security system forming part of a Bitcoin host computer, according to the Coindesk.com. 
Coinbase submitted the application in May of 2015 with software engineers Andrew Elness and James Huden, listed as inventors, and explained it. Existing systems do not provide a solution for maintaining security over private keys, while still allowing the users to check out on the merchant page and making payments using their wallets. Mine cryptocurrencies via TV setup box. Block City Ants, a blockchain powered city and trading platform, has announced a new design for a miner that uses your TV setup box to general digital currency. CoinIdle.com reports the whole system has been designed for ease of use and there are just three simple steps to set up. The plugin is currently limited to Android TV setup boxes, but there are plans to expand quickly to other platforms. Tony Long, CEO at BlockCDN, has answered our questions about blockchain powered CDN trading platform. Hello, Tony. First of all, tell us please, what is BlockCDN? Hello, Anna. BlockCDN is a decentralized content delivery network. It works by allowing anyone to share their unused bandwidth. They can do this by connecting their devices like laptops, routers, tablets, mobile phones, and even TV boxes to the BlockCDN network. What they are doing is becoming a data cash node for our network and they will be rewarded our digital currency called BCDN in return. Our design means we can take full advantage of the general ways of broadband upload traffic, which will help our network to accelerate. This has many advantages to traditional CDN services. For example, we have fast ability to scale. We can also offer faster access and because we use less resources, we can offer much lower costs up to 90% cheaper. And what are its advantages? Because we use the idle equipment of internet users as our peripheral data cache node, we can make significant savings over traditional methods of data node construction. We also save on costs regarding bandwidth and maintenance. The trading platform that operates at the heart of Block CDN runs on smart contract technology. It locks the workloads of sharers in an open and transparent way and automatically rewards people for their contributions. This also lowers the costs of administration. Why did you make a miner for TV setup? Traditionally, mining for virtual currency consumed a lot of computer power and electrical power, which we felt was a waste of resources. New technology should try to be progressive and efficient where possible. The aim of BlockCDN is to put wasted energy to good use. Therefore, we are developing plugins for TV boxes, routers, and other equipment which consume less power. These can be used for BCDN mining. What platforms will be expanded for this app? Today, BCDN mining is already possible with Windows and Linux and also Android TV Box, and is proving very popular, already over a thousand miners. In the future, there will be router miners and other professional equipment. These aim to reduce power consumption and make our system really easy to join for everyday people. Thank you, Tony. The full interview you can watch in the special playlist on the KCN channel. Blockchain is the best technology for charity or how to help children via cryptocurrencies. Immediately after the ads. One does not simply start mining Bitcoin. Oh, wait. Yes, you can. Turns out. Cloud mining technology has already made it possible, while Hashflare team has significantly simplified the process, allowing anyone to join. Are you ready to become a cloud miner? Bitcoin companies organize a special event with the Christmas holidays. Two of Poland's top cryptocurrency exchanges are hosting a Bitcoin fundraiser. According to the newsbtc.com, both BitBay and BitCanter will co-hold the Christmas holidays fundraiser for the Tesco Child Care Home in Katowice. Buying the children there are some toys, stuffed animals and giving them a Christmas to never forget is all made possible with Bitcoin. Helping children using cryptocurrency, Edina Coin launched the December charity auction. While buying Edina Coin until the 30th of December, 5% of the sum will be transferred to the charitable help to children's homes in Pakistan. The purpose of the auction is to add a fabulous pre Christmas mood for children. More news and videos you can find on our partners' news outlet website coinidol.com by the link in the description of this video in the special section KCN videos.
Put the likes for weekly news and daily digest, subscribe to our channel and be aware of the events. See you in a week.